Okay, so this demonstration, I am showing something called superheated steam. So what I have here is I have an Erlenmeyer flask on a hot plate, and the energy of the hot plate is being absorbed by the water. The water is using that energy and converting the kinetic into potential and creating a gas. That water vapor is traveling up this tube and it's going into these copper coils that are badly oxidized. Now in these coils, these coils are at room temperature, so the hot gas with all of its potential hits these copper to uh, coils and gives its energy to the cooler coils because energy flows from hot to cold. And what you see here is not steam, what you're seeing here is fog, suspended water droplets, it's a colloid. So you're not seeing steam, think, people think well, you see steam, what you're seeing is the hot gas gave its energy exothermically to the coil. The coil is now warm. So we're seeing the effects of condensation. So we're boiling here, which is endothermic. The gas is coming up. That hot gas gives its energy to its surroundings exothermically and converts back to liquid water droplets that we can see. So that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing water droplets. Now I'm going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to take this copper coil and I'm trying to position my camera so you can see the fog that's coming out. And I think that's pretty good right there. What I want to do is take a torch and I'm going to heat, okay, this copper coil. And I, my, my idea, initially we're going to see some uh, more fog come out, but my idea, if I heat this coil hot enough, my thinking is that if this coil gets hot enough it will in fact make it more difficult for the gas okay to become a liquid because if I make the surroundings warm it's going to be hard in the surroundings in this case the coil it's going to be harder for the gas to become a liquid it has nothing to give it to so by me heating this coil you're probably noticing that the amount of fog coming out is decreasing. At least that's my hope. So I'm trying to really heat this coil up so hot that the gas that hits it can't give its energy to the coil and then it comes out as pure water uh, vapor. Which if you notice right now there is no fog coming out. No fog. Why? Well, because the water vapor has nothing to give its energy to. In fact, right now, I'm superheating this steam. I'm making it so hot that it's going beyond 100. As you talked about in your class, there's really no limit to hot vapor can get. To prove that to you, I'm going to take a piece of cotton, and believe this or not, I'm going to light a piece of cotton up with water. So I've got this water vapor so hot that my idea is that I should be able to take some cotton and start a fire with water. So let me just make sure this vapor is so hot that I'm superheating the steam way above 100 degrees Celsius. So you don't see any, any fog here. So here we go. I'm going to put that cotton fog, I'm going to put the cotton right next to this superheated gas that's way above a hundred and water vapor should start a fire. Here we go, you ready? Whoa! Okay, that's pretty hot. Water vapor. Water vapor started a fire. Now as I stop this and let the coil cool, okay, we should notice that there should be fog reappearing. So as the cool, as the, the copper coil gets cooler, we should see some more fog appearing. Now condensation can occur. You say, well, that happened pretty fast. Well, it's because the copper has a very low specific heat, so it gets cooled very quickly. And now we're back to condensing into water droplets. Superheated steam demo coming right at you.